Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Do The Work. Here we're going to cover question 23 of the math proficiency test for the teachers in Ontario. Before we get going, I would really appreciate if you could hit the subscribe button below. That way you could support the channel, but also receive notifications for all future episodes. Now, without further ado, let's get to it. I encourage you to try this uh, problem by yourself. But we're asked, uh, which of the following dimensions produce a rectangles with the smallest perimeter? And to do this, well, we need to know how to find the perimeter and... You can check this video by Khan Academy. They compare the uh, areas and perimeters of a rectangle. But essentially, let's say you have a rectangle with a specific height and a specific base. Then the perimeter is the addition of the length of each of the sides. So imagine you have a fence around the, the, the rectangle and the perimeter would be adding the lengths of each fence. So gen, so then the perimeter here would be B plus B plus H plus H or two B plus two H. Therefore the perimeter is just twice one dimension plus two, two of the other dimension. So, to do the work here, what we can do is I can do it down here. I'll have A, B, C, D. It's not too, too hard. We just use the formula of the perimeter. And, but after that, we, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the intuition behind it, like why it, it's that, right? So the perimeter would be two times 10 plus two times 120. This is 20 plus 240, which is 260 meters. P, I'll name it PA, PB. Then that would be 2 times 30 plus 2 times 40. That is 60 plus 80. That's 140 meters. And then PC, 2 times 50 plus 2 times 24, that's 100 plus 48, which is 148 meters. And then PD, that's 2 times 60 plus 2 times 40. And then that would be, let's see, 120 plus 80, and that would be 200 meters. And then the question is, which of the smallest uh, which of the rectangles has the smallest perimeter? So I think it would be PB at 140. So therefore it is this answer. Now let's explore a little bit the relationship between area and the rectangle. So I've, I've made this question, I reproduced this question in Desmos. You can access the link in the description of the video below. And you can download the app on your phone, your tablet, or also open it in your browser. So by clicking this here, I'll launch it in OneNote. And let's see. Let's put that down so we see better. Um, the orange C is indeed 148. D is indeed 40, uh, 200. And then I think this is 260 and 140. So it makes sense. Now, how do we find the area of a rectangle? Well, the area of a rectangle is base times height. So then this would be 1200. This would also be 1200. This would also be 1200. And then this one, that's six times four, that's 24. And then add the two zeros, that's double. So let's play around with this visualization. So this part here was just a confirmer answer. And it makes sense, right? 12, 12, 12, 2400. But why is this one double when the perimeter is actually less than this one? You see how the perimeter for D is less than A, yet its area is double? So look at the red rectangle and the blue rectangle. Blue has twice as much the area. So imagine these are like glasses of water or something or fields that you need to mow 
The blue one would take twice as long to moat because there's twice as much area. Or if they were glasses of water of the same depth, like the same thickness, then there would be twice as much volume in this one. So let's explore uh, this a little bit further. I'll bring this menu upwards. I'll erase the triangles, the rectangles and the display. So you see how by just clicking on the menu and on the folder buttons in Desmos, you can erase them. And to create a folder, you just click plus here. So it's, it's not too, too bad. But let's explore what happens for any rectangle. For, for this one, let's see, the perimeter is 400. It looks weird in here. And the area is 10,000. So let's say we make a, um, like an arrow, a narrow uh, rectangle with a base four height 100. The perimeter is still pretty high, right? Like it, it was two, 400 and it's still, let's say we go down to four, it's still 208, it's still more than half. Yet the area is 400, whereas when it was a uh, um, 100, then the area was 10,000. So the area decreases significantly more than the perimeter. And you can kind of think about it this way. To make a narrow rectangle, you only save at the two ends. You still have two long fence. So you're, you're going to be still half, right? That doesn't change. But since the, the area is a multiplication, then you'll lose some quadratically. You don't lose some linearly. You lose some quadratically. So a quadratic, let's say I draw on this thing looks like this. So the area, you know, maybe I want to draw on this. The area would like increase quadratically, but also decrease quadratically. Whereas the perimeter might just increase like this and then decrease like this. So obviously that's way beyond the scope of the question, but it's good to think about these things because then that's the part where it builds the, the intuition. This question wasn't particularly hard, right? We can just do it by hand. But to go beyond the question, then that's how we get good at math. That's it. So it's answer B. And thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed these videos and I'll see you in the next video of Do the Work.